Hi folks, Irish Trekkie back with another Star Trek The Official Starships Collection Review for Meagre Moss. Uh, issue 39, we have the Romulan Hollow Drone Ship. And um, one that wasn't on my radar, pardon the pun, um, but this looks like a pretty sweet model. Um, huge amount of detail in there, I hope it all is intact with the courier, uh, the carriage even. But yeah, looks pretty sweet. Um, let's get inside. And uh, hopefully this one's a little bit easier to open in comparison to the last one as I struggle. I am strong, I promise you I am strong. So let's slide this out. Okay. So we have a great, ooh, interesting front on view there um, off the hollow drone ship. And a uh, pretty decent looking model actually. You can see a lot of the detail in uh, the detail, the detail in there. I can't even talk on this video, I do apologize. Um, so let's put the model to one side and let's have a look at what goodies lay inside of the magazine. So here we have the front cover again of the Romulan drone ship. Um, launch 2154, uh, length 35 meters, uh, top speed warp 5. Not a big ship. Um, not much bigger than the Delta Flyer. It was only, what, 14 more meters? Not too much. Um, but really unique design. Um, I think these were the hollow modules on the outside of it as well, giving it any appearance it wanted. So cool. So let's go through to the inside. Um, mounting instructions. Um, Romulan drone ship designing the ship, starting the Romulan war. And on-screen appearances. So honestly, I know very little of the ship bar. It's on-screen um, appearance in Enterprise. Romulan Star Empire, um, class prototype, um, transphasic disruptors, and holographic skin. Interesting. Whole lot of detail on these images here as well, which is pretty cool. Ah. Come on. Real detailed CG graphic there. There's a lot of different modules going along the side here as well. And a lot of antennae as well, because this is, again, a drone ship. It needs to be in constant uh, real-time feedback as well. Um, in 2154, the Romulan launched an experimental drone that could disguise itself as another or any other ship. The drone project was tested in 2154 and successfully destroyed several Andorian and Tellarite vessels in an effort to create a whole lot of shenanigans, pretty much. So again, we have a whole run through here of the controlling and the origin of the ship. Real wicked ship, super hyper maneuverable as well. Um, auto repair, and um, we have a lot of information here on the Romulan Star Empire and it's uh, unfortunate pilots as well. I won't do any spoiler. If you haven't seen the episode, check out the episode. And here, oh, no spoiler alert. <laughs> There we go. We know who the pilots are. Um, so what do we have here? We do have a bridge. Obviously, that was manned at some point. Um, subspace transceivers. The disruptors are just on these kind of pylons here. Multi-spectral emitters are what these nodules are here. And the warp engines are just in the back inlaid there as well. Right. Um, anything else here? Similar kind of telepresence system known as interface probe was later developed to be used by the Federation. So, yeah, I, I think there was, like even in Janeway in the, um, the where she came back on from the future, didn't she have kind of a neural connection to the shuttlecraft as well for piloting? So, yeah, ahead of its time. Romulan drone, okay. Um, oh, was it? Was it in there? I didn't. There you go, I didn't even know that. The design, uh, informally known as the Flea, made two brief appearances in Voyager. The crew found a ruined version floating in chaotic space in the fight. Uh, the eagle-eyed viewer spotted it docked in a space station in natural law as well. Ah, well, look at that. I did not know that at all. Cool. I love how interwoven this has become. And the strange free like ship that became the Romulan drone had a long and complicated journey on screen, indeed. And here we have all about designing it as well. So again, we have these kind of modular, kind of crab-like, or, you know, insect even, flea-like, you know, uh, exoskeleton frame on it, hiding a lot of the sensitive components. Huge amount of detail on it, actually. And um, what else do we have here? Do, 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 do. It's just about some lighting and CG stuff as well. Pretty awesome. 
and starting the Romulan War. Who doesn't like the Romulans? Who's your favorite race in Federation? Is it in Star in Star Trek? Is it the Federation, which is not so much a race, a, a whole variety of different races? But who's your favorite? Is it humans, Bajorans, Romulans, Klingons? I know there's a lot of Klingon fans out there, but let me know in the comments below. Not right here, I mean down here. Um, just love to hear from you guys uh, as often as you can. So I won't go too much spoilers in here. And then we have our appearances as well, Babel 1 and so on and so forth. And look what we have coming up. Enterprise B, yay! But enough about that. Let's talk about this. And we have a nice graphic at the back. So guys, here we have the Romulan drone ship. So let's get inside and have a look at these detailing. I am freaking out about taking this out. I Hopefully it comes out fairly easily without uh, much stress. Let's just take off the top cover. Thanks for including top covers, by the way, for people who you are sending this to. Thank you very much. And, oh, she comes out fairly nice. We'll have a look at the mount in a moment. Or when we mount her in a mount her. Aw. Oh. Okay. So, drone ship. Wow. And I repeat. Wow. Look at this. Look at the paint app on this. Jeez. That's crazy. But the alien ships in this series, I think, have you know really surprised me. I don't know whether is it that I know the Federation ships so well. But the alien ships like the Insectoids, um, the Dominion ships, even Klingon. I know Klingon pretty much back and forth as well. But they've super impressed me. This one is freaking awesome. Look at the subspace transceiver as well. Like, these things are delicate. A little bit misaligned, like, but maybe they are anyway, just to get multi-angles on it. <laughs> I don't know. And we have these kind of porcupine prongs whatever whatever they are just on the inlay there as well just on the ventral section pretty cool that is a menacing looking ship but just even you know the transphasic or is the transphasic or the hollow emitters anyway you know what i'm talking about just the detailing just on even the small ones there as well is epic now i'm just trying to see i think the solid part is yeah, the solid part's the inside with plastic molding there and just this kind of, you know, um, insectoid kind of type body as well, just the exoskeleton. Um, here we have our warp engine, obviously bizarre collector of some sort there. Uh, really cool, but a huge amount of this kind of digital detailing here. Kind of looks like a circuit board, but this is cool. And it's replicated very well on the far side here as well. Look at this kind of... I don't know what that would be. Kind of looks like the head of something, if you kind of put it that way as well. Even if it looks, it looks really cool like that as well. <laughs> or is it just me? That looks pretty kind of coming at you. Ooh. But yeah, now that's cool. I like this. I like it a lot. And again, I didn't know much about this ship. Um, but yeah, this is going to be pretty cool. Because each of the ships have their own kind of place, their own story, you know, their own impact on Star Trek. And... Again, everyone likes the ships for their different reasons, but like what really appeals to me about this collection is just that. It's going to be a collection of all of the ships, and uh, that I do appreciate. And again, there have been weaker models and stronger models, but look at these as a whole, and um, they're just going to be pretty, pretty cool side by side in a, in a wicked display. Um, I don't see any flaws in this, to be honest with you, from the initial look of it. Crazy amount of detail and just inside there. So the mold on this, the sculpt, it's pretty cool. I say this is pretty hard to kind of manufacture as well. But it's heavy. It is heavy. I like it. The front doesn't bother me at all. Another missed line, but that doesn't bother me at all on that. Nice kind of architectural designs here just on the aft section too. That's pretty cool. Curious to see what this will look like on the mount, but let's actually have a look at it on the mount and let's compare it to a ship in the line just to get a sense of scale as well, guys. Talk to you in a moment. 
Well, this mounts very interestingly. Um, the mount is towards the front here and the body actually goes through uh, a fitting that sits into it. Because um, I was actually curious to see how this would mount. But um, yeah, it's really, really interesting to say the least. Pretty cool actually. Because um, this is quite a unusual, well, it is uniform, but it's an unusual shape with very fluid um, accents on it as well. So that took a lot of thinking. And um, I think they did a really, really good job on that, actually. Um, so, sit in there quite nice. And if I can just kind of move, well, I can't really move it at the moment. Um, but I will give you some other camera angles in a few moments. But uh, yeah, took a bit of getting that into position. Um, but let's compare it to a ship in the line and get a few other angles off it on the mount. So here we have the Andorian uh, battle cruiser versus the drone ship. Um, I thought it'd be quite nice to show these two different species, but um, both occupy the same kind of screen time, um, pretty much in Enterprise. But uh, definite design philosophy changes. We have the good old green Romulan. But just to show you the sense of scale here, uh, you know, the drone ship is pretty big, but just so unique. Like, I love the Endorian ship as well, the Kamari battlecruiser. I, that was one of my favorite ships so far. One of them, there's many of them. But um, this is pretty cool, just the level of detail that we can see in here. And um, just trying to get this down as much as I can, just to kind of show you that mount. As you can see, that's kind of ventral spike is just going in there. Pretty cool. Really unique mounting on it, but very successful nonetheless. Um, but yeah, what do you think of the ship, guys? Um, was this on your radar at all? Uh, was it one that you were looking for? And if not, has it impressed you? Um, but it has me, if I do need to say it anymore. But uh, yeah, leave your thoughts and opinions in the comments section below. But again, I think Eagle Moss has done a good job on this, but we can't wait for the up and coming issues as well. Um, but thanks for watching and leave your thoughts and opinions in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you guys. And don't forget the social feeds as well, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter um, to join in the conversation for the Irish Trekkie community. But thanks for watching, guys, as always. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And your support is always much appreciated. But I've been Irish Tricky, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take it easy. Bye-bye.